Live from the Sands Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Cube at AWS reInvent 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsors, Amazon and Trend Micro. Hey, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Las Vegas for Amazon reInvent. This is Silicon Angles The Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the city from the noise. I'm John Furrier, and my co-host, Stu Miniman. Uh, this segment and this week, Dave Vellante is uh, back at the ranch, holding down the fort in Massachusetts. Shout out to Dave. Uh, our next guest is Alan Toes, technical product manager at Sophos. We're talking about security. This is our segment on security. Um, I see security. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. Welcome to um, be here. Security's awesome. I mean, it's number one issue on the table. Been now for a while. We'll, yeah. we'll continue, and you know, it's going to have the Y2K-like effect. Everyone's investing in security. Absolutely. You need to have the cyber uh, intelligence, whether it's threat detection, incidents, breaches, all that's happening. With no perimeter, it's like a whole new ball game. Yeah. You agree? Absolutely. Uh, it's one of the first challenges customers find when they move into the cloud is how do you secure your data? How do you protect it from attack? And that's one of the big challenges that we want to help our customers solve. So what's the big angle for you guys here with Amazon? Why are you guys here? Sophos is your company. You guys do endpoint, you do a lot of security. What, what's your deal with Amazon? Why are you here? Well, um, yes, yeah, Sophos does have a lot of products and we cover a lot of different areas of network and infra infrastructure security. But with Amazon particularly, what we like to focus on is our UTM product line, which is available in Marketplace as an AMI. Uh, it's often sit in, or set in front of your servers, uh, so we can provide network level protection for firewall intrusion prevention, but also application level protection for web application firewalling. So it's a very simple way to provide that level of application security and protection, protect those servers that um, uh, need that security uh, from the threats that are happening today and with the backing of a company like Sophos that can give that threat research and data to give the real-time updates for threats that are happening. So if there's no perimeter, how do you do end-to-end? -end? <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there certainly is some form of a perimeter, even in the cloud, where uh, the traffic has to come in somewhere and it's got to hit something before it hits your servers, and that's what we can really help with. Um, and then beyond that, we also have our endpoint products. Of course, we can protect those servers even at that level, putting our endpoint protection, doing host intrusion protection, scanning, uh, endpoint malware scanning on those servers and keep them safe even at that, uh, that level. Yeah. Alan? Yeah, so you guys have dealt historically with a lot of the infrastructure players out there. I was looking through your list of OEM partners, yep. the who's who of what at this show would be called the old guard. Yes. So I'm, I'm curious what you've seen. Uh, you know, you're, you're a technology-focused guy. Um, you, you know, what, what are you seeing in the mindshare shift in security from going from, uh, you know, the tr traditional, you know, on-premises, uh, you know, hardware environments to, you know, the more cloud and mobile-enabled world? There's definitely a lot of new challenges that come up because, like you say, this, the cloud is a new environment. Um, the perimeter is a little bit shifted, like you're talking about, where it's not really clear always where the endpoint or where the, uh, the threats are coming from. Uh, yeah, there's a big difference between the old guard and the new guard, but at the same time, there's a lot of the same challenges. We have the same applications we need to secure. Sometimes they're built and architected differently. Uh, sometimes they provide different types of services for different scales of audiences, but the security concerns are the same. And uh, so the technology we can use to secure that is very much the same, but the way we implement it and the way we have to consider scaling and providing the, uh, the implementation of that is what changes a little bit. All right, so yeah, there's been a lot of discussion we've had on theCUBE is before you used to have the moat around the castle. Yeah. And, and now, you know, there's security needs to be at so many points yeah. in the environment. Um, where, where does Sophos fit into that, that, that ecosystem in, in the changing uh, of uh, you know, where, where the security discussion happens? Well, take your pick. Um, from a product standpoint, we have products that sit at all levels. Uh, whether that is on the encryption standpoint where your data at rest needs to be encrypted and secured, we have products to help with that. Whether that is to protect those hosts that are being secured from incoming threats, um, scanning traffic that is arriving on them. We have that with our endpoint product. Uh, dealing with threats that may have gotten into the host with our host intrusion prevention scanning part of our endpoint product. 
or whether that is scanning the inbound traffic to stop those threats before it ever arrives there, and that's with our UTM product line. Uh, and that's where we can really provide a lot of different levels of security, depending, no matter where you want to put a security solution or where you need to secure your data, we have a tool to help you with that. All right, can, can you speak a little bit about what it's like to be an AWS Marketplace partner? They've got over sure. 1,900 yeah. you know, products in there. You know, is that a major driver for you to get access to uh, AWS? How much do they work with you? Things like MDF funding and the like. Yeah, so working with Amazon has been a very good experience. Um, the marketplace itself has been hugely helpful in advertising our products, making it available to those who are looking and exploring. Uh, the security space within Amazon Marketplace is a rapidly growing, one of the top growing areas of the marketplace, and to be in, an, in that and part of it is very exciting. We see a lot of that growth, and it hasn't taken a lot of effort on our part to see our products get a lot of traction and growth from Marketplace. Uh, and they give us a lot of tools to be flexible with that. Uh, and working with them, they've been hugely helpful in any sort of the gathering of data and reporting that we need to better serve our customers and better um, plan for the future. It's been, they've been really good to work with on that front. Yeah, are, there, are there any specific you know, verticals that Amazon's helped you to get into? A large, large discussion point over the last year, of course, has been uh, the government, especially with that CIA deal. Can you speak to that some? Yeah, absolutely, and in fact, uh, speaking of verticals, I think government is one of the big ones that Amazon really has lended uh, some reputation in doing that, because uh, being that we're in Amazon, we're in GovCloud, and available for government customers, uh, it makes it very easy for us to get in that front door, whereas before, it's really, getting into government business is sometimes a very challenging thing to do. In being in part of GovCloud, it really does help. Uh, we found a lot more traction with some larger government installs. Um, we don't always even know who we're working with. We're working with uh, contractors who are working with unnamed government agencies, but we know that it's to do with security agencies, et cetera, in many cases. Um, and that's exposure we never would have gotten uh, as easily, certainly, without Amazon and the marketplace. Awesome, Alan, well I want to thank you for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it. Uh, I want to just ask one final question for you is, explain to the folks out there that are watching, and who aren't here at the show, the vibe, what is the innovation, what is the excitement? Share with them, I and mean, they're actually looking at Twitter, I mean it's not much online, you get the, you know, the live stream's awesome, but like, they're not face to face, they're not seeing in the booths, they're not seeing all right. the action. So share with them your perspective, and then share with them, the second part of that is, why is security, so important and how, why is it so irrelevant now in the cloud equation? Right, so First part, <laughs> the vibe, the show. Right, so the vibe of the show is, uh, it's, it's a lot of excitement here, a lot of uh, intrigue and interest. I think for a lot of people attending the show, this is their first kind of taste of what cloud is and to get to see that, uh, it's a bit of a fire hose I think when you start to understand that how much growth and potential there is with cloud for not just providing new ways to deliver solutions, but new security options as well. And I think that that really is a little overwhelming in many cases. I was speaking to an, a former colleague earlier today who came into this very skeptical and was basically, when I go home, I'm turning my entire company around and we're moving everything to the cloud. So it's, it's very interesting to see that. Um, and it's, uh, that's really kind of the energy level we want to be a part of with, with our product line. Yeah, I, I, Alan, it, it's, it's amazing what you said. It, it really feels like, you know, we, we've known that cloud is going to be big, but yeah. it's, I think when you come here, it's bigger than you thought. It's here yeah. more than you thought. So, uh, if you had a chance to, you know, geek out a little bit, go to any sessions, go around the show floor, I, mean, I guess outside yeah. of the security area, some something that kind of caught your eye that, that you would call attention to? Yeah, absolutely. We've um, been here since Sunday, and it's been, it's been great to be part of the, the show as it happens. I uh, haven't got to too many sessions, but a few really good ones, some very good speakers here. Uh, but also some of the after party, or the, the nightlife has been great as well, where you know the pub crawls last night, we had lots of people come out to uh, some events, and it's been a lot of fun hanging with these guys. Outside of the work environment, not having to talk about security and tech, but just kick back, relax, have a drink, and have a lot of fun. So the second part of my question, which Stu <laughs> interrupted me on was security. What is the piece here? Sure. So share with your, you're an expert. What's, what's the state of the art? What's the bleeding edge? And what can people do with, with cloud for the practitioners out there? Right, so cloud really allows for us to be much more granular, contained, uh, to build solutions that are tailored specifically to the application you're working on 
and build the security around that, like you were talking about moats before, you had to build a moat around your entire organization in the old school, but these days, you can build that moat right around the application itself and build as tight an integration as you need with the security layer right down to the application layer. Uh, and cloud really lets you do that. You just can't do that without spending a ton of money in the physical world. Uh, so I think that's one of the more exciting things about the market that we're in today. Yeah, certainly virtualization, cloud, is just a perfect storm. This is theCUBE. Thanks for coming on the, on the Cube. We are talking about security with the experts, breaking it down, sharing that with you. This is theCUBE. I'm John Furrier, Stephen We'll be right back after this short break.